lifetime. That's huge. And no one suspected a thing. So great customer service. Mission accomplished. There's no disguising it. More care, less cost. Discover the elephant difference at elephant.com. Is your air conditioner not keeping your home and family cool during these hot summer months? If so, call ARS Rescue Rooter. We're offering select heating and cooling systems at a low monthly cost of only $99 with approved credit. Visit arsofvirginia.com. WJLA is an equal opportunity employer. If your organization or community group is interested in referring candidates for job openings, please contact us by visiting WJLA.com. Welcome back. That wildlife park in South Africa where an American woman was killed remains open and operating as usual. Rangers say that lion will not be killed. It will be moved to an enclosure, though, away from public. The animal bit the woman, identified as Catherine Chappelle, through an open car door window. Windows are supposed to be closed inside that park. They've got signs all around. We're told her tour guide was injured while trying to get the lion out of the car. Four people are recovering this noon from serious injuries after a roller coaster accident. All of this happened yesterday, one of Britain's biggest amusement park rides. 16 thrill seekers were on a ride called the Smiler when it slammed into an empty car stuck on the tracks. The force of the collision wedged those cars together. They were left dangling nearly three stories above the ground for more than four and a half hours. This sort of accident should never be able to happen because there is a, a very sophisticated computer system that watches the location of all the trains. The park remains closed as that investigation into the accident continues. A fourth Democrat is expected to enter the presidential race today. Former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee is scheduled to announce his candidacy at George Mason Center for Politics and Foreign Relations right here in Arlington. Chafee was a Republican U.S. Senator at one time. He was elected governor of Rhode Island in 2010 as an independent, and he became a Democrat in 2013. In other campaign news, Kathleen Matthews has announced she's running for Maryland's 8th Congressional District. The Democrat held a press conference this morning at the Silver Spring Metro Plaza. Matthews is running for a seat that will be open because Democratic incumbent Representative Chris Van Hollen is seeking the Senate seat of retiring Senator Barbara Mikulski. Matthews served as public affairs officer for Bethesda-based Marriott, and she was also an anchor here at ABC7 for more than 20 years. Happening today, a chance to win $1 million. We would all want that. And who wants to be a millionaire is holding auditions at Stonebridge at Potomac Town Center. And Sam Sweeney is in Woodbridge with what you need to know. Good afternoon. You only have to answer 30 questions to get to the hot seat. And then once you're there, you're only 14 questions away from $1 million. Hundreds tested their knowledge and brought their energy early this morning. I can't believe it. I, this is like a dream come true. <laughs> 100 people sat for the first test. 30 questions, 10 minutes, and about 30 passed. It was a little nerve-wracking, but it was kind of exciting. i never seen so many people in one setting for something like that. The test isn't easy. I sat and gave it my best. I'd be surprised if I got one question right. It was hard. I only got about 11 questions right. Looks like I won't be a millionaire anytime soon. I can't tell you what the questions were, but they were wide ranging. It was a mixed bag. You can expect a little bit of the geography, pop culture, some science, some language stuff. Basically, uh, jack of all trades would, would do well here. Organizers say it's not just about brains either. They're also looking for personality. I've got it all. I've got wit, I've got personality, I've got brains, I've got beauty, and I've got you. And don't worry if you couldn't make it today, you still have another chance at the hot seat. Auditions will continue this Friday in Baltimore beginning at 7 a.m. Reporting in Woodbridge, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News. And Jackie, you, you said you got one of the questions right about no i didn't get it right <laughs> no, uncle sam it right yeah one of the questions he quizzed us this morning he said something like was he a letter carrier was he um, a weapons uh, mechanic yeah. or he, he was a meat inspector apparently or at least he was inspired by a meat inspector in 1812 Who so knew? i could not be on the show <laughs> Who knew? All right, well, maybe anyway. one of the, we would probably get all the weather questions, right? Maybe so, <laughs> and I won't quiz you on the forecast, but Please I think don't. the one question everybody <laughs> wants to know is, hello, where is the sunshine, right? Well, it's going to be a few days. Somewhere, that's right. <laughs> um, go to Chicago. It's looking pretty good there today. <laughs>